Don't take a look at this. Be close to it. If you can see it. Be close. It's a little frog. Be close to it. Tell me what type of thoughts come up in your mind when you're close to it. Why are we focusing on a frog? I can swear, it's okay. Just like Lecter. Yep. <laughs> it's okay if you like frogs. It's an evil red eyed frog. <laughs> evil looking. This big can get better. Yeah. Okay, now, be open to it. Money. Is it money frog? Is it a good luck? Money frog. Prosperity frog? Yeah. 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 Whatever. <laughs> okay, be really open to it again. Be really open to it. Be fully open to it. <laughs> okay, notice something. The frog didn't do anything. <laughs> Your relationship, your generated relationship to it, closure and openness, shifted your perception of this. It's just... Tantra, you recognize that openness and closure is an action, is an activity. It's an activity. We don't know this because we're by automaticity. The first thing we want to capture back into our own power, into our own capacity as tantric warriors, as practitioners, is we want to take back the control of saying openness and closure is out there. This is, if you really think about it, a very high level of consciousness to be responsible for your openness and closure. The more closed you are, the more angry, the more charge there is, the more separation, more distance, more frustration. And unfortunately, when you do that, the more you don't want something, the more you get of it. Yet, you can have ugliness or abundance, but the shift is internal. This is your practice today, next three days, the rest of your life. But especially, I want you now to raise your awareness. I'm looking at that wall. Am I open to it? Am I close to it? Going to the bathroom. What am I looking at? Am I open to it or close to it? Ooh, look at that statue. Some people will be close to it, seeing it as adulterous, adulterous, idol, idolatry, right? Evil, satanic. Some would look at it as beautiful and a cultural, uh, magnificent piece. Confusing. Confusing. <laughs> what is it? Not a fun? Is it a person? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Inquisitiveness is first step, right? If you're down against it, but then you get curious, that's a step towards what? Openness. It's openness. If we have more openness with one another, does that mean we have to agree? No. It's not even agreement. I do not have to agree. I could be open to it. I could be close to it open to it, close to it. That's the foundation step. 
And what are you being open and conscious and close to? You're being conscious of that this person is a conscious being with choice. They're being. You're you. You're not me. And the more open I am to that, the more I value your who you are. The more I value your choice. The more I value without trying to interfere with you. The more closed I am to you, the more I try to manipulate you. The more I try to make things happen my way. The more I'm open to you, the more I'm collaborative. If I have an idea or a direction I want to go, I'm in more of a spirit of openness and collaboration, naturally. The language turns that way. This alone is the essence of Tantra. Ultimately, it's looking at your genitals, your body, your cell. I'm open to them. I'm close to them. Yeah, I like the white hair. It's over here. <laughs> I like the white hands. Yes, they are? Yes. <laughs> At, one time, At one time I was losing, you know, when I was losing my hair, right? And I was like, oh shit. I'm so young. You know? So young losing my hair. You know what I mean? I want to, you know, will my guy won't be sexy to my gal and all these things, right? Close to it. Then one one day she started like doing some really nasty stuff to my head, you know, it's like, uh, you know, provocative sexual, and she's like, just take it off, will you? It'll be such a turn up. Well, if you think, right? What does it look like? <laughs> 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 okay, nice forehead, right? So because she made, was open to it, what did that do to me? Made me more open to it. When I got more open to it, finally I did it. I can't remember when it was, 10, 12 years ago. And I shaved it all off. And then I became open to it. Now I can't imagine myself with that. It's funny when I look back at the old pictures. So openness, even transferring your openness to another, can have someone open them to themselves.